Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model Y output being ramped in Giga Texas. Tesla Supercharger Network hits 45,000 milestone worldwide. Tesla Supercharger visits just got easier, thanks to a new app update. And, Tesla improves interface with customization, new features in massive update. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Earlier this month, Tesla Giga Texas hit a new milestone by building 4000 Model Y in one week. A recent flyover of the Gigafactory Texas complex suggests that the Tesla team has not let off the accelerator since. Tesla watcher Jeff Roberts, who has been following the progress of Giga Texas since its earliest days, recently shared images and footage from a drone flyover he recently conducted around the facility. Roberts observed that Giga Texas seemed to be shipping more Model Ys than ever, to the point where he reportedly counted 50 units of the all-electric crossover per hour. Considering the comments from the drone operator and the busy state of Gigafactory Texas, it would seem that the electric vehicle maker is doing what it can to produce 5,000 Model Y per week. This is a milestone that Giga Berlin, a Tesla factory that started vehicle production just a few weeks before Giga Texas, accomplished in late March. Since starting their vehicle deliveries, Giga Texas and Giga Berlin's ramp have been neck and neck, at least until recently. Back in December, for example, Tesla announced that Giga Texas had reached an output of 3,000 Model Y per week, and it only took a few days before the company announced the same milestone for Giga Berlin. Since then, however, Giga Texas was left behind for a bit. This became evident in February when Tesla announced that Giga Berlin had accomplished an output of 4,000 Model Y per week. By late March, Giga Berlin's vehicle production had reached a very impressive 5,000 Model Y per week. At the time, Giga Texas' last Model Y production milestone was 3,000 per week back in December. Things picked up earlier this month, however, when Tesla announced through its official Twitter account that Giga Texas had hit an output of 4,000 Model Y in one week. This suggested that the facility was accelerating its production and new milestones were likely coming. Considering the recent observations from Robert's recent flyover, it would not be surprising if Tesla announces Giga Texas's 5,000 per week Model Y output soon. Moving to the next update, Tesla Supercharger Network hits 45,000 milestone worldwide. Tesla recently hit a new milestone with the installation of its 45,000th supercharger worldwide. The announcement was posted on the EV Maker's official Tesla charging Twitter account. The announcement of the Supercharger Network's milestone comes less than five months after Tesla celebrated the installation of its 40,000th supercharger. This is quite impressive, as it hints that the ramp of the supercharger network is accelerating. The accelerated build-out of the supercharger network is invaluable, especially amidst the company's efforts to open its rapid charging system to non-Tesla electric vehicles, both in the United States and in other countries. Being one of the market's most reliable rapid charging networks, superchargers have the potential to make long-distance EV travel mainstream. Apart from supercharger installations, Tesla also credited its supercharger production team at Giga New York last month. In a series of posts on social media, Tesla noted that its prefabricated supercharger stalls had been a game-changer in the rapid charging network's ramp. The company also noted that over half of the 40,000 superchargers around the world were made in Giga New York. The facility is producing megachargers, designed for the Tesla Semi, an all-electric Class 8 truck, boasting a 500-mile range as well. Giga New York, however, is not the only facility building superchargers for the electric vehicle maker. Back in 2021, reports from China noted that Tesla had completed the construction of a dedicated supercharger factory in Shanghai. The facility, at least at the time, was reportedly designed to produce 10,000 supercharger V3 units per year. The Tesla supercharger network is widely considered one of the company's most formidable competitive advantages over its rivals in the electric vehicle sector. 
For now, Tesla is focused on the continued ramp of the Supercharger V4 network, as well as the Megacharger network, for the Class 8 all-electric semi in the United States. Moving to the next update, Tesla Supercharger visits just got easier, thanks to a new app update. Tesla just made Supercharger visits easier, thanks to a new app update, which now displays wait times in real time, as well as pricing. Tesla is the country's best-selling electric car company, and it is not a super close competition. Because of this, superchargers in some areas where Tesla vehicles are more popular than others, like California, for example, could be more saturated with customers. Additionally, Tesla recently added the capability for non-Tesla EVs to charge at select supercharger locations, potentially adding more congestion to those locations. While it is not a widespread effort as of yet, superchargers in California and New York have been fitted with the magic dock that makes it possible for non-Tesla owners to use the charging network. To make things easier for owners, Tesla is giving them the ability to see supercharger wait times in real time, adding to the already included feature of the number of stalls that are available, according to Not A Tesla app. The additional feature allows owners to choose a supercharger location that could be more suitable for them if they're in a rush or a time crunch. Previously, supercharger availability by vacant stalls was displayed, but it didn't necessarily include any sort of information on when the next pile would be open for use. To add even more color to the app, making things easier for owners, it is now displaying the current price per kilowatt hours. This varies depending on the time of day, as Tesla encourages people to charge during non-peak hours by offering cheaper prices. Tesla will undoubtedly win over some more customer loyalty with this feature, as it continues to refine the app with numerous updates recently that have increased ease of access. However, the supercharger functions added to the most recent update are great new features because of the increased congestion at Tesla chargers. Moving to the last update, Tesla improves interface with customization and new features in massive update. Tesla is shipping software update 2023.12 to select employees today with a variety of new interface improvements and features that are aimed toward customization and ease of access. Tesla has been making a recent effort to vastly improve both its vehicles and app with new features. In-vehicle updates have included a new version of the owner's manual, a revision to the cabin heat system that improves its functionality and navigation fixes. For the app, Tesla improved supercharger visits by including wait times and rates. Additionally, a small fix in the navigation feature of the app was also included. Now, a variety of new interface-related features are being shipped as part of 2023.12, which was discovered by Teslascope. First one is the text size, which lets you choose standard or large text size for the touchscreen. Second is the controls search, which allows for quicker access to controls and settings. It allows you to make changes directly from the result or by tapping the link to jump to that panel in controls. Third one is the points of interest, which allows you to see photos and reviews when you select a point of interest or supercharger location. Fourth one is the phone call controls, which helps you control your phone calls from the steering wheel. You can use the left scroll button to answer or decline incoming calls. While you're on a call, you can use it to mute or unmute yourself or hang up. Fifth one is the scroll wheel customization, which allows you to do more with the left scroll wheel button present on the steering wheel. You can adjust settings like brightness and acceleration mode or perform actions like toggling the camera app, opening the glove box, and saving dashcam footage. Long pressing the left scroll button, bring up a list of functions, and then you can scroll through the list. The sixth edition is gear chimes, which makes a chime when you shift gears. The seventh edition is passenger seat controls, which allows you to adjust the passenger seat from the rear touchscreen to make it easier to enter or exit the rear seat. You can access the, the passenger seat controls by taping the seat icon on the rear touchscreen. The controls are available only when the vehicle is not moving. The next edition is Get to Know Your Tesla, which allows you to learn everything about your Tesla right from the touchscreen. This feature is available in the manual app. 
The manual app also provides easy access to resources for learning much more about your Tesla, such as the on-screen owner's manual and online tutorial videos. Next one is Zoom Meetings, which is already available in several markets, but it is now available in additional regions. There have also been improvements in performance, and changes have been applied in the background. The next addition is Voice Recognition Language, which now includes British English as a voice recognition language. And the last addition to this update is Factory Reset Bug Fix, which includes fixes to the factory reset bug that caused some vehicles to lose all data. It was partially resolved in 2023.6, but new fixes have been included in this update. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.